What up YouTube, this is Mark the Cobb. I'm doing a review on how to get the best out of your Flashpoint uh, Evolve 200. Um, your Flashpoint Evolve 200, I have two of these, and I'm not gonna go into uh, opening the, the box opening and and um, how the system works and all that. I think everybody has a, a good grip on how to use studio equipment. Uh, but hey, let's get into it. Now check this out. Um, the first thing you're gonna need to do is uh, uh, un unscrew this piece, uh, you know, right here. <laughs> no, don't do that. I'm just, hey, I'm just joking. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> you don't mess it up. You don't know what's going on in there. I had to open it up myself. Don't do that. Hey, but I use this in the studio, and I have this uh, beauty dish that I got from Cowboy Studio, uh, one of the local uh, equipment stores here in the Dallas area. Um, I also use, uh, I buy equipment from Competitive Camera, Aussie Camera, uh, those are places I've been to in this area. So if you're around in the area looking for equipment places, I just gave you a tip on, on where you can go. So, with this beauty dish, uh, let me get, first of all, how to start it off. And this stuff is easy to kind of work with, but you still got to be careful, don't drop this. And I'm not going to do a review on how to drop this, and I heard about people dropping it. Hey, I'm not the one to be dropping things, okay? So, you're going to use the, uh, you're going to use the bow in here. You're going to slide it in, and it's with the beauty dish. Hey, and just remember, is that anytime you use the light source and you cover it up, you decrease output. So, you, anytime you decrease output, you're going to find yourself, um, increasing power. To get the results you need. So, be it the beauty dish, the way it looks in the beginning, it's like this. Uh, you know, it has a little piece in here that allows the light to bounce back and reflect all throughout the dish. I like to use the silver because I like I like hard light sometimes in the projects that I use. Um, if I want to make it soft, of course, I use the uh, I'll use this right here. Okay, it's the old metal thing in here. You know. Uh, this thing right here, that they're never going to go away. The beauty dish is back. Beauty dish is back. Beauty dish is back. Hey, it's easy to put on. See I am? You just try to be quick about it. That was it. All you got to do is tighten it up right here. And it's good. See, there's no leak in the back. Some people use modifiers got a leak in the back. Remember, there's a leak. There's decreasing output, okay, which causes you to use more power. Uh, in a studio, I use, like, one eighth of a power, and I use two of these. Uh, of course, you know, I have one in the front, one coming off as a hair light. You can look at the photos and, and look at the results that I uh, achieved from this uh, Flash 20 Evolve 200. Uh, the results is like bananas. You know, I'm gonna use the old technique word, they're bananas. Um, the other thing is, is that um, this piece here. Gotta be a little careful using the studio. You might want to add a little tape because it will kind of come down if you're kind of if you're using on a uh, boom or something like that. So I add a little add a little tape there because um, it will twist on you. and You don't want to drop it, of course. So I can't tell you what to do when you drop it. Also um, on this beauty dish as well, it has a little grid that pops on real easy. Okay. Let me tell you something. If you're doing weddings. You know that old school, uh, we used to watch the, uh, on the news and the guy takes a picture and you go like, Poof. Hey, I'm telling you, the beauty, hey, that technique is back. Remember how, because we went from, we went from putting the flash on the camera to taking it back off. And I'll be honest with you, I don't remember the last time I had a flash on the camera. I've been doing this since 1999 and I haven't had a flash on the camera for a very long time. I think I'm going on five years with no flash on the camera. So I'm, I'm using off, always using off camera flash. And I'm telling you the beauty of, think about your bride coming down at your weddings. You can use softbox, you don't have to use softbox, but don't use a grid when you're, um, when you're doing your weddings because your light won't, won't go exactly how you want it. But bride coming down, I mean, the technique with the camera, you know, if you got big guns and all them stuff, you're looking good. Everybody's going, hey, you looking good taking them photos. So, go back to off-camera flash, learn the techniques. This also has TTL on it, so you want to play around with the power and be accurate. 
there's a way to do it, okay? And, and I'm using the uh, Sony A7 II. The Sony A7 II, I mean, I haven't had any, I mean, I know people are using uh, the A7R, uh, the A7R II, I know they went to the 9, but honestly, I'm doing real well. So if it works for you, use it. That's the rule, okay? Um, the other thing is, when you're shooting outdoors, this little flash piece right here, always use grid. I'm telling you, if you're going to do high speed sync, man, use grid. But remember, every time you cover, uh, decrease output, okay? But you might add a little bit more power. Now, even at high speed sync, you see how I'm trying to take this off? I want you to, to pay attention to that. Because if you're going to take this off, you got to kind of get your thumb under there. Because it, it really, it's, it's really on there to stay. But it pops off really easy. And it's the flash head to the system. And it looks just like, you know, the regular uh, speed light. Um, but this pops on. Uh, oh, and also, if you're doing a wedding, you just use it as a speed light as well. It's not hard. I mean, uh, oh, let's talk about the, the power of the battery. I, have, I used one of these at a wedding, and I bought an extra battery. I never made it to the extra battery. I did the entire wedding, the entire wedding and reception. Uh, the next day I did uh, two more uh, photo shoots and I still had battery life. So I never made it to the, um, to the second battery. That lets you know that this thing, I mean, if you're not using that full power, I mean, you've you got to be tripling or, or up to six times the, the amount of use. So they say uh, between like 400 and something and 500 at full power. But hey, if you're not using full power, uh, you get a lot of uh, uh, flashes out of this. Also, at full power, you know, you might get a little delay. Um, I never, I barely have to use full power. Even in some of high speed sync situations, I barely use full power. Um, but I'm telling you, in high speed sync, when you're outdoors, you got to do it this way. No other way, I'm telling you. Um, and use two. Always let that grid come right in that angle on your on the model's face, and it's gonna kind of make this little fade off coming down from the face and down. Now, you know, look at some of the. I got some photos where you to uh, to see so you can understand. Uh, always use a grid, um, and what the grid does, it keeps the light from going all over the place. And you're putting the light exactly where you need it, and that's how we get those excellent results. Um, if, if you're downtown, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll pull out a sh uh, also I'll show you a photo when I was downtown, and I use a wide angle lens, and I only had the, that grid on that subject, and you can the results that you get, man, is amazing if you learn how to use grid. I mean, um, if you have grid here. If you want to use a, wide, a bigger thing, then you got this grid here. I mean, I can tell you, learn how to use grids and learn how to win and learn when not to use grids. Now, I don't use with grids in weddings. Um, sometimes you can use them at some parties, but I don't recommend it. So, uh, what I'm doing, uh, I did this concert, I just needed to try it out with some flash. Um, and then I did this runway, then I need a little flash to it. I didn't really do natural lighting that they're, I mean, or the lighting that they already had. So I want to add a little drama to the models coming down. And I would use just this right here. And I used two, and it covered both their, uh, from two different angles. Or you can use one to hit uh, close, and you point, or you can get another one pointed down, and you can catch, your, catch the model coming down the runway. I mean, the options, man, is crazy, and you don't have wires. Ain't nobody tripping over your stuff. Uh, you, you know what I mean when you got wires and then people kicking your stuff over and they act like uh, like it was okay to do, and they ain't even saying sorry and then knock the stuff down. But hey, that's another story. So um, that's the uh, that's my review on how to get the best out of this uh, out of your Flashpoint Evolve 200. Um, oh, and also uh, there is something out where these two right here can come together. And make one big light, big well, light uh, uh, flash. But you know, hey, that's if you need that. I don't really need a lot of power in the things that I do. Um, but keep in mind, always use your grid. 
Go back to the beauty dish. Beauty dish ain't going. You know the beauty dish ain't went nowhere. It's still here. And you and the only thing that that's, that's different in beauty dishes is that people are making soft boxes and turn them into beauty dishes. But there's nothing like having beauty dishes. I'm telling you, the results in a beauty dish is going to be better. Okay, so when you're using a beauty dish, uh, put a sock on it if you want to just get a little soft light. In the studio, use a sock. Okay, uh, be outdoors. You got those options for hard light. Um, but some people use hard light in the studio too, but I just don't. So that's uh, that's my review, and that's the best. Uh, that's how you get the best out of your Flash Point Evo 200. Uh, there were some kits to use. Uh, uh, also, that comes with it, you can get the, uh, uh, you know, just the colors. You can do all the. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do. I mean, the options are unbelievable out of something this small. And I promise you that the next one is coming out. I know that it's going to have more power to it, so I'll wait for it. Uh, I'm not the brand. I'm not the brand fast as a product, but hey, you can see how it works for me. And uh, guys, I appreciate you tuning in. I'm Marcus Todd. Hey, also check me out on IG, Instagram, Marcus Photo G, Marcus Photo on Instagram as well. 